Hey guys, what's up? This is Rob Shuker from Three Storm Fitness. Uh, today I want to talk to you about my, uh, I don't know how to say this, Anazal, A-N-A-Z-A-O, Anazal, Anazal, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's Chinese maybe, honestly, at least the Zhao part, I don't know. This is a lat pull down uh, bar, essentially, made, made really designed for, um, Designed for resistance bands. I bought this thing uh, because when I was putting my gym together, I didn't used to have this thing's falling apart. I didn't used to have my uh, Spud Ink pulley system, which is behind me. I'll show you in a second. I didn't have that, so I wasn't doing uh, I wasn't doing uh, pulling movements. Cable. I'm doing air quotes right now while I fix this stupid tripod. This thing. I'm gonna have to review this sometimes. Sometime we will not get a great review. So good. Okay. Um, I didn't have the plate pulley system. I got that thing down there. Also, I, I reviewed it before. Uh, so I had to use my resistance tubes and resistance bands a lot, and I wanted to mimic the lat pull down. So I bought this thing because it's one of the few uh, the units I could find, products I could find that had. Uh, that was designed specifically for that. Now you have this like hard foam rubber around it. You got like some sort of steel core on the inside. Um, not super heavy duty, I'll talk to you about that in a second, but heavy duty enough for the application that most people are gonna buy this for. You got this strap that goes 360 all the way around so you get that natural movement uh, while you're doing row variations or pull, up, pull down variations or push down, whatever you're doing. Um, it'll move with you, and that holds up pretty well. It's a good, pretty well stitched here. Got kind of a heavy ring here. I've never had any problems with that. Actually, I've never had any problems with any of it as long as you stick to the uh, requirements. And that basically is this thing's rated up to 150 pounds of resistance, whether it's from your tubes or your bands or your plates. I usually use it for plates. Um, now, I have pushed 200 pounds on this thing. Pull technically, but I push it. I push this puppy up to 200 pounds, and it's held up. But as you'll see in a second, it does kind of bend. It doesn't like it. I wouldn't go much heavier than that. If, I, in fact, I don't really go that heavy at all with this thing, just because it makes me a little nervous. I don't want it to snap. Now, let me just talk about. If you use it as intended, it is a very solid product. I've had this thing for about two years, and it's held up very well. I use it almost daily, uh, at least three times a week. The grip is great, it's a very solid grip. I thought this thing would peel away in a second, but honestly, it's held up super well. All sorts of grimy hands touching it. Uh, just gotta make sure you wash it off. Um, I use my Norwex pads, or cloths, or whatever there. Uh, but anyways, what, you, you know, use whatever, it's easy to wash. Um, what else? Yeah, it's, just, it's held up really well. It's fallen a lot, it's about two and a half pounds. Weighs about two and a half pounds. Just under 40 inches long, I think it's 39 inches long. I paid 45 bucks for it. Like I said, it's designed for like resistance tubes. Uh, you could put it on your door anchor or whatever. Anywhere you can train resistance tubes, you could use it for this. And just to show you what that does, you take one of these, or actually really both the carabiners on a tube. This is like a heavy duty, I think 75 pound or 100 pound tube. You just clip it on like that, clip it on like this. And there you have it. Use your imagination there. Uh, one thing I will say, kind of on an off note, if you use resistance tubes around your power rack, don't be an idiot like me uh, and just wrap it directly around the metal. I did that for months and they, I just chewed up all my resistance tubes. Um, you guys are smarter than me, you're probably not doing that, but I would use like these little nylon things that come with them. Just wrap it around there, around your pull-up bar or whatever, and you get a heck of a lot more life out of your tubes. All right, anyways. So let me show you the way I normally use these. Push this all the way now. So I got like resistance bands on here right now. I just took like uh, you know, your typical like power lifting bands, mini bands, you know, like Sirius Steel or Lead FTS or whatever, Rhodes, any place. Everybody sells them. Right now I just have this looped over a barbell with a carabiner running around the resistance bands. You sit back, let me see if you can see me. That's good enough. And you have sort of like a diagonal row. And as you probably see, you know, you can use whatever grip you want. And 
works fine with, I mean, it's just like your regular steel, uh, steel lap pull down bar in terms of functionality. It just can't, it's, well, first of all, it's nice because it has this foam padding. Secondly, though, it just can't withstand quite as much weight as one of those. Oh, one thing I'll show you that I like about this. And I'll use this now with my, my spun ink plate. I got 195 pounds on this thing at the moment. Like I said, I don't really normally feel comfortable using it for that, but I just want to show you how much this thing starts to bend when it's under stress. Hopefully you can see it. If not, just take my word for it. So again, just take care of being there, hook it up to it. And one thing I love about this, is if you guys have spun ink uh, or the uh, condo pulley system or what any, maybe you made one, whatever the case may be at home, you may have noticed this when you have your lap pull down bar hooked up to it. You unhook the plates, you change them out, and what happens? <laughs> that falls on your head. Now, I'm kind of ashamed to admit, although if you've been watching this channel for very long, you're probably not surprised. I've let that thing fall on my head probably three times, and every single time I thank God that this thing's covered in a nice thick foam pattern. <laughs> That's one. Nice, very nice work about this. It doesn't, uh, otherwise I'd be in the emergency room. Of course, I'd only probably have done it once. <laughs> That's the downside. I haven't learned yet with this thing. It's, it spoiled me. But anyways, so, <sighs> got about 195 on here. And you can see, it's kind of starting to bend. So, I would strongly recommend just sticking to the 150. Um, you like, you know, you meet heads with a, doing 300 pound pull downs anchored to your base of your door at home with 300 pounds of resistance bands. This is not for you. For everybody else, for your average person who just wants to get a good workout and mix it up, this is a very solid product. I've been very happy with it. It's, I've been treating it like a commercial, piece of commercial equipment and it's not. Um, but it's, it's stood up. It's stood up to it. Alright guys, this is Rob Shukraft, 3 Storm Fitness. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions about this product or any other. Um, bye bye.